Hello though, welcome into this new video. I'm going to be showing you how we can make the MailChimp automation step by step. So this is going to be a really easy tutorial if you don't actually know absolutely anything about the email marketing. Uh, just to tell you real quick, MailChimp it's a great great application to start right away totally for free. So if you don't have an account, I will leave you guys a link down below in the description so you can get your MailChimp account. And with that being said, let's jump right into it. So first of all, after I go into the sign up, I want to choose a free version. You can decide if you like the Essential Standard Premium later. So let's say for example that I have less than 500. So we want to choose this option and it's going to be appearing something like the MailChimp recommends this option, for example, right? But here I just want to focus into the sign up totally for free. I want to provide an email, a username and a passcode. After that, I have my account already created. So let's go into the next step. So as you can see, I do have this email that I sent it to myself as a template, just as a test to see if it's working or not. So let's see how we can do this, but let's say automate it. So we don't have to do like manually all by ourselves. So if I go into the dashboard of MailChimp, I do have the home section. And here what I want to do is three different things. The first thing, the first thing actually in order to create uh, the automation tool is to create some audience. So if I go into the audience, I want to choose the option that says all context. And here into the all context, I can select the option that says add context, add a subscriber, and I can add the email address, the first, the last name, the address, the phone, the birthday, and all that information. Now, how can you gather emails by your own is to go into the campaigns, go into the create actually, and here into the in being informed, we can like set emails like subscribe to this, uh, mail, subscribe to this button here so you can receive like notifications and blah blah blah. Right, so once you do have your audience, you want to go into the second part, which is actually create your emails, your actual your actual mail. So for example, let's say I want to choose the option that says regular email and I want to choose like a discount code or I am an artist and I want to show them my latest uh, show is going to be in town. So I'm going to go into the design email. And here into the designed email, I can choose a template. So let's say, for example, I would choose new builder. And I'm going to choose something really, really easy. I mean, going to go into styles, templates. Let's say, for example, I would be choosing this one and choose with all the existing content that I do have available. So this is the option that I just need to provide to my customers. I'm going to go into saved and exit. And now that I have my context, now that I have my campaigns, my template emails and all that, I can create the campaigns. Now I can go into finish later. I'm going to go into the all campaigns and here into the all campaigns, I want to create my very first campaign in order to start automations, right? So if I choose, uh, try building one of these, the option that says automations, it says create custom automated messages. So I want to choose the get started. So this one is going to be sending me into the customer even with your offline. Uh, popular up your build your needs. Need some help. What you want to do is to choose the get started option. So we can choose our audience. So it's really important to have an audience to create an automation. Um, so I want to choose continue. And actually, why do we want to do uh, automated videos, automated emails, or whatever templates you want to send into your customer emails. Because uh, if you actually notice, for example, into Spotify, if I created my account into Spotify, sometimes I do receive emails like get three months totally for free, or get two months for just one dollar, or your new Spotify grabbed music of the whole year is here, so click in here so you can see it. So all of that is called the automation tools. So you can do exactly the same thing with your brand and with the same tools. So here, I do want to go into the customer journey builders 
and here I'm going to actually select a test emails if I want to just check it out here but as you can see I have context sign up for this is my brand so once someone I'm going to choose a starting point so once someone for example let's say is um, once someone signed into my e-commerce store and uh, today is his birthday for example I want to send a special discount, I want to offer a free gift, or just to say happy birthday. So here I want to choose this option. And here I want to choose days before date. So you want to choose number of days before date is reached, let's say three. And the day field is birthday, right? So you need to choose safe starting point. So there you go. So uh, contact is added three days before the birthday. So if I choose, for example, seven days, if the contact is added 70 days before the birthday, I can send a automated email to this guy, like just saying happy birthday. If you want to choose another starting point, you can choose that in here, but I want to choose a journey point. So I'm going to choose the time delay, delay for one hour. Or maybe two hours so this can be looking like not uh, not so much like a bot so we are just we're humans right so you want to make a delay here here I want to choose if else so match any of the following conditions the campaign activity I want to choose the option it says landing page sign it up on and this is my campaign I want to choose save and I want to choose plus and I want to choose the option send email with a survey so to when the subject the schedule the tracking button and this is my email if you want to uh, change the email content you want to choose this option is going to be sending us into the edit the editor of the email creators so it's going to be looking like this if you are okay with it go into saved and exit and then it's going to be added, it's going to be ported, imported uh, automatically into our our campaign. So there we go. Uh, we have the contact meets, if else conditions, landing page, sign it up on star. So if someone signed it up, I'm going to make a one week delay of creating an email. So here is the create an email. So context exits, right? So if the person here signed it up, it says no, nothing else happened. It says yes, one week later, it's going to be appearing at the journey point. Let's say I'm going to be choosing send an email. Here it is. So I want to send a template. And here into my template, let's say uh, I want to choose like uh, some uh, creative tools, like for example, share your stories or thank you so much for signing into my website or here into my stuff. And, and you can get a 20% discount if you are newbie here into my store. Like this is what we are looking for into the automated messages. So once you have everything successfully done, save your template, go into the preview and test. And that's the way we can make in automated emails into the MailChimp. So I want to go into the return to campaign. And then lastly, what I can do is to return it to the journey, save that, and then I can just start with the magic with my very first part, which is actually so I want the people to have this audience section, this audience details of the inbound form to sign it up into uh, my website so I can send custom uh, different data so I can collect more data of them so I can send more and more and more information and I can just update my database of all my customers which is actually really really simple guys so hopefully this was a very useful video for you don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more advanced tools intimate tools or even basic tools into MailChimp this was actually really easy to do so hopefully guys uh, you understood everything we just uh, saw here into MailChimp. If you have any questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video once again. And I'll see you guys in the next one.